After the Shape of Water, three billboards outside Ebbing, Missouri, and downsizing, I've seen another indie gem at this year's Vienna International Film Festival, and it's one of the best. Sean Baker's The Florida Project. So far this is only my second movie by filmmaker Sean Baker and to be honest I thought he was pretty young and new to the scene and I was very surprised to see that he's already 46 years old and that the Florida project is his sixth film. The one before that, Tangerine, really impressed me with its naturalistic and deeply empathic look at the human condition. And the same goes for this one. I'm very eager to see what he's done before and this review will be rather short because I just want you to point in this indie filmmaker's direction. Maybe the Florida Project will even turn up at next year's Oscar celebration. But what is it all about? First of all, it doesn't have a very strong narrative focus. It's not plot driven, but character driven, and those characters are great. The Florida Project shines a light on a world that's probably unknown to most people. The people in this world live in roadside motels, and most of them aren't tourists, but permanent tenants, who can barely pay the rent and live with the bare minimum. The central characters are the young woman Haley, her six-year-old daughter Mooney, and the motel manager Bobby, who is played by the only well-known actor Willem Dafoe. The main focus lies on Mooney and her friends and their little daily adventures. It's one of the best films about childhood and Sean Baker seems to have a natural understanding of how to portray and direct his little stars. And the term star really applies to the little girl that plays Mooney. Brooklyn Prince is glowing with natural charisma and her hysterically rude, smart and snappy persona is captivating. The Florida Project has a Little Rascals vibe to it and Baker has stated the shots from the 20s and 30s as an inspiration. Those old films were set during the Depression era and the Florida Project isn't just a joyful depiction of innocent childhood adventures. It is that as well and it captures the magic that can fill every day when you are still a child perfectly, but it's also a social commentary without ever feeling preachy or judgmental. The title of the film was also an early development name for Disney World in Orlando and the film's world is set in the shadows of that big entertainment and dream factory without ever addressing it all too directly. The Florida Project almost feels like a documentary at times. Following these characters, getting to know them and their lives, it's very naturalistic, shot on real locations, it renounces music that isn't coming from inside its world almost completely, and yet at the same time it's a highly aesthetic film. Baker's camera work is beautiful and full of colors and fascinating places that enhance the film's magical feeling as well as the strong contrast to the hard conditions in which the adults are actually living in. And speaking about the adults, Haley, who has no job and just lives off selling cheap perfumes to the rich visitors of Disney World and the Orlando golf courses, is played by Bria Vinayt. She hasn't acted before and director Sean Baker found her while scrolling through Instagram looking for inspiration for the movie. Haley is a troubled young woman and Vinayt's portrayal and Baker's empathic direction make her a great character that will certainly connect with the audience. Willem Dafoe is just awesome as the motel's manager. He's the one person who tries to bring a little order in all the chaos, but of course he can only do so much and to watch him being helpful and kind on one hand and yet harsh and strict as he has to be on the other is a great experience. Overall, The Florida Project is a fascinating look at a different world, an emotional and honest depiction of childhood and just a very moving film. In German I'd say, Sean Baker gelingt es großartig, die Magie der Kindheit mit den Problemen und auch Schrecken des Erwachsenenseins zu verbinden und das sowohl auf inhaltlicher wie formaler Ebene. I give The Florida Project 8 out of 10. It's more like 8.4, but I don't do that. Oh, let's go, come on. Have a nice day. Love you, Bobby. I love you too. All right, that's it. Like always, come below and let me know what you think about the Florida Project. And also let me know what are your favorite films about childhood. Two of mine are The Goonies and Francois Truffaut's The 400 Blows. You can hit me up on Twitter, Facebook and Instagram simply at the Jimmy Cage. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, whatever you like and make sure you hit that bell 
for all I have to tell. Mm -hmm.